Hi guys, I'm Mystix Audio Video Production here at the NAMM Show 2024 at the booth of Key Audio with Tom to know more about the new babies. These are the Key 7. That's true. So let's know more about it. So we're just launching the new Key 7 at NAMM. Um, we've been working on those puppies for quite a while because a lot of people were asking for a more affordable version of the Key 3 and also something that's maybe for a very, very different setup, much more smaller studio, more near field, um, but still doing the same thing, right, that the Key 3 is doing. And the most interesting thing about that is actually the Kaido dispersion control. Yes. So the Key 3, um, opposed to any other speaker, actually sort of focuses the sound forward and it's okay. actually putting out way, way less energy to the sides and to the back. Okay. Which means that you really need to treat your room much less, so it's yeah. very much e easier to get them properly going for a, a production, mixing, mastering home setup. home studios. In home studios, in, in like smaller imp improvised setups, if you're renting the space, and they still have a um, super wide uh, frequency response like the Key 3s have, but it's just way, way more controlled. So while the Key 3 actually has cardio down to 50 hertz, okay. the Key 7 only has the drivers on the sides, right? So there's no woofers on the back. Okay. And there's still about a 700, 600, 700 watts each. Um, and that means that we can pull down the cardioids dispersion down to 130 hertz. Okay. On the Key 3, that's down to 50 hertz. So that takes care of even more control okay. of the room interaction. But even these puppies above 130 hertz, you have way less interaction with the room. Okay. And also, the other thing that, because this, this is all DSP based, so DSP is at the heart of it, which means we can do two things. A, most important, we can integrate the whole monitor controller function because these okay. also have a volume control. Yes. It's completely lossless and has multiple inputs. You can switch in between. You have a nice controller that you can actually use. Wow. And that sort of uh, gives another picture on, on the price point of the Key 3s and the Key 7 because that's not only a speaker, that's a full on monitoring system. So you have the speaker, you have the monitor controller built in and you're actually saving at least like five to 10K in room acoustics or room treatments yes. if you set them up. So this is something to put into position with the price point on it. So take it and, into account. Um, and the last thing is because the DSP is at the heart of it, we can do a full time alignment and face alignment of the old speaker. So if you can actually work with a longer latency yes. for mix and mastering, you'll have a perfectly time-corrected speaker and a perfect impulse response. Yeah. And that's something you usually only with dynamic drivers you get with the one-way system. Yeah. That's we all have and love our, our tones because that's actually just a single drive unit, yes, of course. no crossover. So your vocal levels is super easy. And you will realize you won't need it with one of the keys because they are time-correct, okay. right? So this is something you cannot do in analog. And if you're tracking and you need them to have zero latency and feel immediate and analog, there is a simple, a minimum latency mode in the key control. You just switch the preset button, okay. good to go. Okay. So for tracking, there's no latency, no problem. This do not feel like any DSP system. Okay. You will not know and realize it's there. Perfect. And what about the controls on the back? This is just for, for the plain basic setup. But the key seven, you'll realize, um, additional to the to the key three, they also have a network input, so oh. you can use them with the Dante put. So if you want to set this up, um, you actually put them into the network, or you can actually use the Wi-Fi. So there's built-in okay. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth um, to work in, in the network, and these run a small web server. You just put them into your network. You you put up. Um, a, a web page yes. and you can actually do all the settings in okay. there so it's very easy very convenient to set up and once once they're set up you can a you could potentially control everything from the web server 
or you can use the key control. Okay. But this is not mandatory, right? So this can be been used um, with just the web server and the web okay. interface or via the Dante protocol. Okay. So a million ways to get those um, connected. Yes. And what about Atmos integration? Well, there's um, so many um, ways to get into and onto the speaker, and most of the, the Atmos um, setups, the, the actual monitor control intelligence and the features is already there upstream. So a lot of guys are using stuff like the Grace M908, or like the Trinov Demon, or, or just the Avid interfaces with the, with the Datman controller. Yes. And this is, I think that's perfect for the whole Atmos integration. So you want mute groups and solo groups, you want to have this um, just to your liking or with uh, according to the DAW you're working in, yeah. meaning in an Atmos setup, the actual speaker connection can be pretty easy and dumb. Yes. So what I would say, because this is VSP-based speaker, you should try to get in digitally because that's sort of... Um, uh, uh, um, keeps you from having an extra conversion step, obviously. Of course, yes. So if you go in analog, that will be an AD converter to the DSP. Okay. We don't want that. So the best is to have like individual output channels in AES. Yes. That would be my pre preferred version. And that's possible with the Avid yeah. interfaces. That's possible with something like the Trinoff. Yes. And then you actually put them up in pairs or just if you have a single AES line per speaker, yes. happy days. Okay. Perfect. So it's very, very easy, and with, even with the key threes, this can work the same way, and we already have a couple of Atmos rooms uh, yes. running in the world. Great. And, and the, first, the first one to actually put a pair of key threes into a full Atmos setup was Paul McCartney. Oh, so yeah. I thought it's... Great. <laughs> that, that was quite a nice surprise <laughs> when we got the email. <laughs> okay, so thank you so much for your time. You're Tom. welcome. Thank, thank you. you. So you have Thanks the link in the description to know more about Key Audio, of course, the new Key 7 and also the Key 3. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.